everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and here I'm showing you my paints Amsterdam Expert line that's the indigo. My next is a combination of folk art treasure gold majestic gold and deco art rich espresso. That was Charvin um, Conacredone Magenta and Charvin Julia's Pink. Uh, color Art Primary Elements, Elements Spiced Plum. And the last one is the Lucas Krill Studio Turquoise. My base coat I have down is uh, the Blick Titanium White. My pouring medium today is 50% uh, Liquitex Pouring Medium, 40% Floetrol, and 10% Water. And I plan on just doing a simple Dutch pour. And here I am laying down my paints. That first paint I used was the indigo. And the second was the, this is the turquoise I'm laying down here. And this is that combination of the folk art, treasure gold, master gold, uh, majestic gold, and the deco art rich espresso. And here is that uh, color art primary element, the spiced plum. And this is the Charv the Charvin Quinacridone Magenta. And then the last one is the other Charvin paint, the uh, Julia's Pink. And I'm just giving it a, a quick torch here. And I am going to use one of my smaller uh, blow dryers here to uh, blow the paint out. And it is on low in the cool setting. And I'm just taking my time here, tr trying to direct the, the paint in the direction I want. I didn't add any extra base coat down. I am going to leave quite a bit of the negative space here today. Just a simple little Dutch pour. And here I am just working to try and get the paint where I want it to go. These colors did play pretty well together. And here I think I'm just cleaning up a little bit of that paint that got uh, dripped on there with my base coat. No silicone added today. And here I'm using the Puffy 2000. It's just a little gadget that you uh, blow the paint around with a, it's a little tube with a little black end on it. You just blow it around yourself. Just, just um, fanning that paint out a little bit here and there. I do like wispies, so just working a little bit with the composition. Again, I'm going to give it a torch here to work out any air bubbles. Just using the blow dryer here just a little bit more. Another little torch there. And here I actually use the world's smallest leaf blower just to blow out a couple of sections. I tried to blow out that indigo there at the end a little bit. It was like a big blob of that dark blue indigo. So I'm just trying to uh, blow that out. And now I'm taking my skewer and I'm just adding 
a little interest here to the Dutch pour, doing some wiggles and squiggles here. Just adding a little bit of interest for the eye to see. And I'm, I work quite a bit on the, um, the outer edge, making it look more like a flower, petals of a flower here. And I am cleaning off my skewer after every time I, I place it in the paint to move the paint around. Just, this is just a lot of fun to uh, play with your painting. See how you can accent it. A lot of swirling going on there with that skewer. And I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and all of my watchers. I really do appreciate all your support. And if you ever have a question on any of the techniques that I do, please leave them in the comments. I try and get back as soon as I can with answers to the best of my ability. Again, just working on the edge of the flowers here. And I did speed this part of the uh, video twice as fast. You can just see how much more uh, playing with this has really added to it. And when I get you down for the close-up, you're going to see what a difference it made by just taking the time to, um, to add these um, little swirls and pulling the paint out here and there like petals. This is a lot of fun. I work all the way around here on the uh, edge of edge of these flowers. And I hope you are enjoying watching this. I think I'm just about finished here. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up. And again, this is a uh, 16 by 20 inch canvas and I just did a, a Dutch pour uh, with some embellishments. Here's the upper left hand corner and we will go down the left hand side here. Lots and lots of negative space I left here. And just go up and we'll just see some of these interesting parts going on in this painting. Very pretty right here. 
I did get some cells, although I really wasn't looking for cells here today. Used my skewer quite a bit just to add a little bit of interest here to this Dutch pour. The colors played very, very well together. And I'll go down to the lower right-hand corner and just take you up here, up the right-hand side. Okay, so let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.